Magical. Game changer. These are words that people have used to describe the Creative Sound Lab's Super XFi amp. That's pretty high praise. And at $150 at launch, we had to grab this little guy. I mean, we wouldn't want to miss out on something this game changing, would we? What's going on everybody? Jeremy with Detroit Tech. Today is all about the Creative Labs Super XFi, or as they call it in their videos, the SexFi amp. Demonetized. Basically, this is a DAC amp headphone dongle for your phone or computer. It supports 24-bit, 96 kilohertz files, and they say it can support headphones with an impedance up to 600 ohms. It has an aluminum chassis with a system on a chip and onboard DSP, or digital signal processing. There's a USB-C port, three and a half millimeter, millimeter headphone jack. On the front, you'll see volume up, volume down, and the play pause button. Oh, and this little guy? I wouldn't worry about this little guy yet. Now, as a basic DAC amp, it, it works fine. I plugged it into my PC and Windows set it up pretty quickly, and I was able to control volume from the device or from Windows, either way. It didn't have any problem pushing my DT990 Pros at 250 ohms, or my HE4XX, which can be pretty power hungry. On my phone, just, you know, plug it in with the included USB-C to USB-C cable and everything works fine as it should. Definitely sounds better than, you know, my phone's DAC and the crappy amp and can power headphones quite a bit better. But what about that little guy, that little button I told you not to worry about? That's the SexFi button. What is Super XFi though? So let's see what Creative says. Experience magical audio reality. Holographic Audio Super X5 brings the magic of holography into audio for headphones. This is the holy grail of headphone audio. Okay, so pretty big promises there. So how do they propose to do that? So when you fire up their SX5 app, you map your head. It takes pictures of your ears, the front of your face, and these are a couple of the more obvious ways that can affect how each person you know, perceives audio. Once that's done, you can dive a bit further in and choose your pair of headphones from the list. And since every pair of headphones, you know, projects sounds slightly differently, they want to make sure to be able to correct for that. On Creative's site, it says hundreds of anthropometric parameters are extracted from the features of the head in high precision, precision using real-time image detection and analysis. And artificial intelligence then uses these parameters along with the dynamics of the targeted headphones and synthesizes them with a multi-dimensional map of the desired room acoustics. Now, I'm not sure what room acoustics they're like talking about though. I couldn't find any setting in the app uh, that talked about the room or, or mapping it. So, so, I don't know. The rest of it though, I can get on board with. Mapping parts of the structure of, you know, the ear or whatever, they're easily mapped and proven to change how I perceive audio. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, but let's look further. Okay. Here it says a good headphone audio is a fallacy. What? The vast majority of audio tracks created today are meant for external speakers. As headphone users, we listen to such tracks all the time. This means sound is pumped directly into our ears, creating a claustrophobic sound stage where sound seems unnaturally trapped in our heads. Oh. Hey, I mean, some headphones definitely sound claustrophobic. That's, I mean, that's why I use open back headphones at home anyway. Okay, I mean, whatever. Let's fire this bad boy up and like be transformed by the audio. And, ew. Okay, how do I describe this? Uh, have you ever been in like a racquetball court or some like big hall where it's like really hard to hear what somebody's actually saying because there's like so much reverb? That's what it sounds like when I hit hit that X5 button. It's like they just threw a big convolution reverb on top of everything and set it to cathedral, which I mean, isn't terrible for every type of song. I mean, classical music, kind of nice. It sounded like I was listening to an orchestra in a cathedral, which would actually be pretty cool, but it's definitely not true to the recording, like at all. Maybe it was just the headphones I was using. Our unit did come with some creative headphones that are the SX5 certified grocer. These things just, never mind, don't. Okay, so the music wasn't holographic. What about movies? Nope. Threw a few different movies with, you know, explosions and like fight scenes to see if I got like more immersed. 
nope. The reverb like killed the initial attack of some of the sounds for me. So it was actually just like instead of an actual explosion. The gaming had to be good though, right? Like who doesn't want like 400.1 surround sound to know where like every bad guy is, right? Well, if this is what 400.1 audio sounds like, I am totally out. Like it actually made it harder for me to distinguish enemy footsteps in Apex than like normal. I'm not saying I'm good, I'm actually kind of bad. So I actually need every advantage I can get. This is not the advantage that I... So let me give you a rough idea of what this sounds like. Obviously, they'll tell you it will sound like way different while using the amp in person, but take a listen to what it sounds like for me. After listening to the SX Phi amp for a bit, I made up my mind, but wanted to know what other people thought. I mean, I know I disagree with people about different things, but like, is everybody high? Like I expected creative to have like some hyperbolic videos about their own product. I even get people being like wowed by the idea when it's presented at CES. But when you have this in your own home and listen to it and try to tell me that this thing is amazing, I mean, I'm not the end all be all, but like, wow, how do people like this so much? Normally, I mean, you know, agree to, uh, agree to disagree kind of guy, but anyone that said this thing is great, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. So where does this leave us? I mean, it's not like I don't like Creative Labs as a company. The X7 is actually a pretty darn good sound card slash amp for your desktop, and Corey actually uses it on a daily basis, not to mention Ninja. But the promises that Creative puts out there for this device don't just fall flat. They explode into tiny pieces and are jettisoned into space never to be seen again. There is one way though, that I would suggest you buy this product. You would literally just never press this button, like ever. And it would have to be 30 to $50 cheaper. There are much better options out there. Dragonfly by AudioQuest, uh, the black version is like a similar price. It doesn't promise anything stupid. Or you could get the Fio A3. It's just a headphone amp, but you can usually find it for less than half the price. Uh, I'll have those listed in the description below if you'd you know, like to support the channel since we just saved you, you know, $130, $150. I mean, basically do yourself a favor, buy some things. So thanks for watching everybody. If this video was helpful and kept some hard earned money in your pocket, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, hit the thumbs down. Either way, let us know in the comments below if you bought this and what you think, and we'll catch you in the next one.